Hi everyone, so I just got here to Ireland. I got here like four hours ago, maybe five hours ago. Uh, so those small eyes, <laughs> it's the jet lag. I'm very tired, like slept like two hours in the last 24 hours. So to today I'm just gonna walk around, um, see a little bit downtown. Um, the sun is out, so I'm really happy because when I landed it was raining. So I'm gonna enjoy the sun. And also, uh, I have to plan my next day because I didn't plan anything. <laughs> yes, this is me when I travel. I'm gonna be here in Dublin for five days. Well, Ireland for five days. Actually, it's not that cold, but I think I feel cold because I'm tired. Because it's 19 degrees and the sun is out. But I feel, I feel really tired, I have to admit that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I travel around the world. Dublin is the capital of Ireland. It was founded by the Vikings around 841 as a military base and slave trade center and has been the country's capital since the Middle Ages. I traveled one month through Northern Europe and Ireland was my first destination. These sculptures represent the time of the Great Famine. It was a period of starvation, disease and mass emigration in Ireland between 1845 and 1849. During this period, many migrated to Canada. I walked through the main streets because I was looking for a store that sells SIM cards for my cell phone. On my way on Oak O'Neill Street, I came across the famous spire, a 120 meter monument. It was in this street, Henry Street, that I found the Vodafone store. The SIM card that I bought was from Vodafone. It cost me 20 euros for the months with unlimited data in all the countries where I traveled that month and unlimited calls in Ireland and UK. Then I went to Dublin Castle. I finished my tour in the famous Temple Bar. Later at night, I returned to this neighborhood to see how the nightlife. They have a reputation for being party people. My couch surfing host came along with me tonight. Couch surfing is a cool app to travel around the world and to meet new people. So can I be in the travel blog? Uh, yes, hi! <laughs> Say hi to Danny. Oh, it's said Danny. They have to put the Italian, uh, Italian accent. So yeah. We're here, we're gonna be on the vlog. <laughs> Hi, this is my host of Couchsurfing. <laughs> Good morning, we're here in this town of Halt. I think that's how we pronounce it. I feel like I'm still in Newfoundland or like uh, Nova Scotia and Canada like that was my last trip and I just feel like it's the same country like yeah I feel I'm in the same country well because of the, the nature it's really because of the nature also some structure for sure because um, as you know if you watch my videos there was a lot of uh, Irish, Irish um, people that went to Canada so there's a lot of uh, influence, like um, in the culture, it's, you, you can still feel it's Irish. So yeah, I feel I'm in the same country, but it's just um, on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. I never know how to dress. Like now I'm super hot <laughs> and in the train I was cold. Something that I was missing, it's uh, when people say hi because um, in the east coast of Canada, people like, they all say hi, smile to you. But in, uh, well, I mean here in Halt, Halt, not everyone, because I think, yeah, there's a lot of tourists, so the tourists won't say hi to you. But uh, the locals, yeah, they say hi, they smile and say good morning. Halt is approximately 30 minutes by train from Dublin. It is a very nice town to walk and hike along its cliffs. Let's start the hike. 
Uh, I think it's like an hour hike in this, uh, this side. I say I'm hot. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> I already said it in my last videos. Like, I love mountains. Like, this is my happy place. Don't bring me on the beach. Like, I won't stay a week in a resort type of thing. No, I don't like that. This, I love it. The mountains, hike, the ocean. Like, you can see the ocean. <laughs> Maybe not swim, but you can swim, I imagine, but it's just so cold. <laughs> but um, yeah, oh, so nice. Guys, it's so beautiful. I really like this uh, my way back like this path from my way back to um, the train station it's like you cross like over um, in the middle of Hauf <laughs> and um, it's quiet beautiful walk Before taking the train back to Dublin I visited Hauf castle which is located near the train station I only visited the outside because it was closed. Here I'm back in Dublin to continue my visit in this beautiful city. In the next video you will see more of Ireland. Until next time!